what's poppin' everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. So, today's video is a bit different, and I'm gonna be telling you five reasons why you suck at scootering. You would not believe the amount of comments I get saying, I suck at this, I can only do a tail whip, blah, 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 just normal things, people saying they're not good at scooters. And it's probably less complicated than you think. It realistically probably isn't that difficult, and I just got the secrets, okay? First off, what is going on up here? What the heck, boy? Anyway, so we're gonna go to the skate park. It's an absolutely freaking beautiful day walking out to my balcony. You heard, Lady Split. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. I've been going to the skate park. And also, I got all the packages for the Mad Gear Jam at Radnor. Radnor Skate Park, Saturday, May 13th, 2 p.m. Do not freaking miss it. It's gonna be crazy. We got shirts, we got beans, we got stickers, we got three scooters, I think. Three, you heard that right? Three complete scoots. Saturday, May 13th, 2 p.m., Radnor Skate Park. I'll see you there. Speaking of Radnor, let's go. Oh, guess who's back? Bro, baby is back in business. Yeah! Let's go ride. Dude, it's actually like the most gorgeous freaking day. I'm so excited. We're gonna hit the GoPro, and then I'm gonna tell you guys why you all suck. Not like I hate you and you all do suck, because trust me, there are very, very simple secrets that not a lot of people know, and they're super freaking easy. So let's go to the GoPro. I'll see you later. Oh, God, it's so nice out. Dude, it may not look like it, but there's like, these. see these little marks? That's all pollen, and that junk will kill you. Like legitimately, if you slip a little bit, you're done. Even like the slightest sideway land, you're automatically freaking bodied. It's over, it's like, say goodbye. Well, since there's nobody here, we finna take advantage of everything. 180, cab whip, triple heel the pyramid, and then we're gonna try and do whip front. Actually, no, we'll do bar double. 180. Oh my God. Oh, no, no speed. That was magnificent. Ooh. Good, okay. Two, three. Oh, my sketch. Oh, oh, I pulled that one out of my freaking butt. That was uh, absolutely nasty. Disgusting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and it didn't even rain. Like, it didn't rain even once, and all the coping is just like super freaking sticky. Dude, you know what I haven't done in like literally four months? I haven't done a 270 whip rewind rewind. You know what? Challenge day. We're gonna try it in line, because why the frick not? Inward, double whip, and then maybe if I have speed, I'm just gonna send it. Actually, we're just gonna send it regardless. I don't even give a frick if I have speed or not. Oh my god, that was so bad. Double. Here we go. That was absolutely diabolically bad. Like, bruh. Woo! Oh, it's dead. Come on. Oh, that's much better. Dude, my shoelaces are turning green. There's so much freaking pollen on the ground. so bad my feet were not in the right place but we rolled away one more trick then I'm gonna tell you guys why you might possibly suck at scooters so literally yesterday I learned how to do a straight umbrella because I can whip umbrella pretty okay straight umbrellas I don't like them oh my okay third time's the charm we can do it oh oh yeah it's hot 
Okay, so here are some of the reasons that you probably might not be super good at scooters. Now, it depends on who you're comparing yourself to. It doesn't really matter. If you're comparing yourself to Ryan Williams or some X Games guy or whatever the case is, you're probably not going to look so good. But number one, this is probably a huge one for a lot of you guys, and uh, it's not, it has nothing to do with you, okay? To get good at scootering, you're really going to need a good scooter. This one is a custom complete from MGP. There's a bunch of different types of parts on it, but you can get a Mad Gear scooter for like 150 bucks. That'll pretty much get you set. It's so, like if you guys are rocking a Razor, you're not going to get anywhere. You, I promise you, you're not going to get anywhere. So you for surely, and I mean for surely, need to get a good scooter. You can spend within like 50 to 100 bucks. You should be in the game. 200 and you'll be really in the game. Yeah, so you need a scooter, like a good one, not a gar not one you found out the garbage can. If you want a scooter, there's a link in the description. Use code BODY to save you 10% off the entire Mad Gear website. It's kind of like if you wanted to get really good at basketball, but you were using a soccer ball to practice, you're going to suck with an actual basketball. That's basically the case. So if you have a terrible scooter and you want to get good at it, you got to fix that. Number two, you skip the basics. I see so many kids that try and like literally do tail whip and then they want to try a backflip. Don't do that. You're going to look stupid. Imagine having two tricks on your list, a tail whip and a backflip. So a lot of you guys skip the basics, like not even backflip. Some people go from like bar spin to bride. Otherwise, your consistency is going to be complete dog. What I mean by basics is a lot of things. You need to learn how to ride a ramp. Just riding ramps. Like before I actually did any tricks, all I did was air quarters and jump boxes. Like that's it. Not, no tricks, no bar spins. I was too scared of that. Don't try and rush doing all the crazy big bride butter tricks or anything like that. That's stupid. Don't try and rush how to do a kickless or a triple whip or a double flat. Learn how to ride a ramp with no tricks at all. Like some people know how to do like a double bribe but can't jump a box. And that's a problem because if you don't want to learn how to ride ramps, well then it's going to get boring fast. Because nobody wants to do 20 tail whips fly out for the rest of their life. So if you don't know how to ride ramps, you're going to suck at tranny, then you're going to get hurt, and then you're going to break your scooter, and you're going to have no money to buy another scooter, and then you're doomed. Along with like not going from one tail whip to a bri flip, do like one tail whip, two tail whips, learn how to heel whip, do the simple stuff. Learn how to do like feeble grinds. Like I know a lot of people don't even know how to feeble, like feeble, smith. Because let's be honest, a 50 versus a bri flip is way less flashy. Mistake number three of reasons why you suck at scootering. You're incredibly inconsistent because you don't practice, okay? You do one trick and leave it. Little man used to do this a lot. He did a bri flip and didn't do one another one for three months. And he looks stupid. Like, you go through the process twice for no reason. Even for me, if it's like a simple trick and I just learned it, I'm going to do it three or four times. Make sure I actually understand how to do the trick. Then I have it unlocked. You're going to want to practice consistently. A lot of you guys learn how to tail whip and double tail whip and do it once and never do it again. Squirt did the same thing. And unless you're a one hit wonder kind of person, then uh, it's not the move. You're going to want to stay consistent. Because that way they become easier and then you can try a harder trick that you'll actually be able to land because you just did the easier one. And that's exactly how you progress. Literally, that's the, that's the key. Like when I learned how to flare, that trick was so scary for me. I did it for literally hours on hours on hours. I just repeated it until I was so freaking dizzy. And I do the same thing with other tricks like 360 combos that always scared me. I just do them, do them, do them them until I got sick of it and then it's in the bag and I can do a first try every Now number four is complete gold. Okay, I'm telling you this is a life hack. Obviously, you're going to want to wear a helmet no matter what you're doing, skateboard, scooter, especially scooter, BMX, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But like I'm telling you, the greatest decision I've ever made on a scooter was wearing knee pads. I'm telling you, if you're a park rider, you're going to the trust. It's going to make it so much better. Because a lot of park tricks are scary. You got to go high. You got to go fast. And bailing on your bare knees is not the move, okay? So get yourself some knee pads. These are called 187 Killer Knee Pads. By the way, they should sponsor me. I don't know what the frick they're doing. Like, just, like send me some pads, yo. Imagine a red Roman. Mandela Penna signature knee pad. That'd be so W. And they'll save your freaking legs, trust. They will help you improve so much and then it'll help also get over some fears because this way you can actually bail. Legit complete life hack. It'll save you so much pain. They're squishy, they slide, it's complete W. Get yourself some knee pads, it'll help. All right, now, number five. This one's huge. This literally saved me so much time and effort and energy. Before you ride your scooter, before you get to the skate park, you're gonna wanna stretch. I mean this so seriously. I don't care if you're eight years old. My friend Corn and Little Man and even Isaiah they don't stretch I'm telling you and it takes five minutes and it'll make you so much more flexible if you have to bail it won't hurt as bad because your freaking body's loose I'm telling you stretching complete freaking W you got to do it it'll make you feel so much better when you ride you'll be in less pain you'll get less sore so then you can go to the skate park more because you're still not even sore and get better than all your friends five easy tricks that will make you not suck at scootering and they're all things that you can do except for maybe some people might not be able to buy a scooter but most of them you can do but that's pretty much it I'll catch you next time Later.